I am Sofia Economu. I'm a professor uh, in the physics department at Virginia Tech. And my name is Ed Barnes. I'm an associate professor in physics at Virginia Tech. We have participated in CTEC Square uh, last year, the summer of 2019. These activities were about teaching high school students the basic ideas of quantum mechanics and quantum information science and technology. And uh, the program consisted of about 75%, I would say, hands-on activities where the students would work out um, basic quantum circuits, which are like the building blocks of quantum information on pen and paper, and then run them on IBM's machines remotely through their server. So they have real devices available on their, on their server that students can go and just uh, design real circuits and run them. Um, so they use both simulators and actual devices. Yes, I, I would also like to add that the IBM offers the service for free, which is great. And uh, that allowed students to get an appreci appreciation of uh, real quantum processors. Another thing to add is that what distinguishes our program uh, compared to other similar programs is that it does not require students to know any fancy math. So we don't really have to spend time on them learning, um, you know, mathematical formals that they don't know, which would be very time consuming and I think, I think unfeasible for such a short time. But at the same time, it's a rigorous program. So they can actually work out um, in a, a rigorous way, uh, the outcomes of these circuits. And it also exposes them to cutting edge concepts in quantum information, uh, science and engineering. So working with SEED was great because they basically took care of all the logistics and we could just focus on building up the educational components. So compared to my previous uh, outreach experiences, this was by far you know, superior in that respect. It really just allowed me to focus on getting the, the science across. Um, they also provided valuable input on in how to spread out the activities over multiple days so that the students would have time to absorb the material and, and digest it. Uh, so in that respect, it was very good advice. Developing a workforce in quantum information science and technology is actually a topic of major importance uh, for uh, national security and the uh, U.S. economy. And it's of great interest to the relevant stakeholders, government, uh, industry, and so on. So this program actually allows early exposure to students to the fundamental concepts of quantum information uh, and also builds an appreciation of what is different in the quantum world compared to our classical experience. And hopefully in terms of diversity, uh, since this is an all-female uh, program, we really hope that it will inspire female students to pursue degrees and uh, careers in these uh, fields. We hope the students gain some familiarity with quantum information science and you know, the fundamental concepts. This is a, an area that's been growing a lot in the last few years with some major government investment. And it's, I think it's a good opportunity to you know, try to explain to beginning scientists uh, what's, what's exciting people about this field. And I think the main message we try to get across is um, what makes quantum computers different from classical machines? How are, why are they able to solve certain problems that classical machines cannot solve? And, and I think our, our program allows them to get some feeling for this uh, by, the, by the end of of the outreach program. And we also, hope, of course, hope that we attract more students into STEM fields. You know, if they get some more familiarity with the topics, they might become more engaged and, and hopefully pursue it further uh, in, at a, a university. And more generally, we hope that they gain some appreciation of what's involved in a career in STEM. I think early, early on, students don't really have a clear understanding of what it is to be a scientist. And I think we can help also try to describe that to them. You know, what is day-to-day -day life like uh, for people like us? And um, we also hope that we can give them some broader understanding of what's going on in the current scientific research and try to you know, improve their scientific literacy uh, more broadly speaking. We're very grateful to SEED for organizing these camps. I think they're very impactful. Um, the flexibility and the structure of the programs makes it easy to bring in new people and to, to adapt the way we do things from, from year to year. So that's, that's really helpful. And we're really excited and look forward to future collaborations. Yes, I, I second that. Uh, it was really nice working with Seed and uh, we're looking forward to continuing in the future.